Welcome back, lovers. I love you. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Here we are, art lovers. Here we are again. And what I did about a year ago was I went to the biggest art supply store in my city, St. Louis, and that is Art Mart. And it is a fantastic store. So I decided to go ahead and go back this time and kind of, you know, see what, what new stuff they had. And just, I was really wanting to get out and my friend Arlena had been pretty much quarantined this entire time, and so she wanted out too. And that's what I did. I documented the whole thing so that you could see it again. So let's go to Art Mart and hit that subscribe button if you like more art stuff like this on this channel, because that's what it's all about. And hit that like button if you like this video. But first you gotta see it. So let's go ahead. Let's go. Ah, she just pulled in right now with her apocalypse van. <laughs> <laughs> You're on candid camera, girl. Oh, no. <laughs> How you doing? Good. You ready to shop for some art supplies? I am so ready to All shop right. for some art supplies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as you could ever want are right there. What's over here? Let's go over there and check that out. Okay. Okay. And of course, the legendary Copics. <laughs> so it made me kind of sad to see the sign painters paint on clearance because it's a bit of a lost art and my dad was a sign painter. So the thrifty artist in me found it really tempting not to buy these Amsterdam acrylics for 50% off because it would have been about 25 bucks. Ultimately, I just don't use acrylics enough right now, and but yet I still kind of regret not buying them at that price. Arlena contemplated her next step in life nah. over her Daniel Smith what obsession. <laughs> Which one? There's so many colors. <laughs> so I've never seen a skin tone set before in watercolor, but that looks interesting. $3. I think I'm going to get this $3 thing. I mean, it's three bucks. <laughs> So if you can't afford a really expensive portfolio, these things are so affordable and they protect your finished pieces. Now that's cool. Keeps you from wasting your paint. We'll just walk out and buy Prism Color, act like it's not there. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm petty, right? <laughs> So they have this entire massive section for Liquitex products, but yet they include the acrylic gouache and the acrylic ink, which I think is awesome. And they have these sample swatches that you can look at too. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. This is almost overwhelming. <laughs> oh my goodness. So Arlena was telling me how she had taken this oil painting class, but the fumes from the solvents gave her headaches. And she did finally come across a brand that she could work with, and that was the M. Graham oils, which are solvent free. I personally haven't used them, but if this happens to you, maybe this would help you out. I just love how their paper section is just vast and versatile and displayed so you can easily see everything. Of course, Stonehenge makes some bougie craft paper. <laughs> So Art Mart has a section dedicated to some oddities and funny items, but also novel items. And I absolutely love it. It's a great mixture of the interesting and the weird. <laughs> I gotta get this for my dad. 
<laughs> oh my god. Ah, how much is this? How much is it? Oh, that is so funny. They also currently have a separate section from that dedicated specifically to the late, great Andy Warhol. I wanted it all. <laughs> well, if you've never seen the St. Louis Arch, now you have. Well, let's just take a look at what I got, babes. I'll be honest, it's kind of a utility haul, but those things are important too, so. So I got to me an X-Acto knife. I told you it wasn't the most exciting or glamorous thing, but I always need these for my charcoal pencils because even though you can have your fancy made for charcoal pencil sharpeners, there's nothing quite like an X-Acto knife for those certain pencils and for graphite pencils too. Oh my God, I got this little thing. I think it was an unmarked Winsor Newton job but it was three bucks but it was gouache it was next to the designer gouache by Winsor Newton it kind of has that same look and they were right in front of the display so I don't know that's pretty crazy though I'm gonna have to try these and I was like well for three bucks you can't go wrong right the ever faithful brush cleaner and preserver for your brushes and for your brushes but also I use it for my hands sometimes too I know that they make a soap but I'm cheap and um, you know it's the best stuff ever and Gosh, it lasts a long time too. And I use this a lot for Inktober because it really, really does get the ink out of brushes. Got some aqua board. Now I had bought some, I believe it was, what was it? Clay board, clay board. And I thought it would be used for watercolor, but it, and I think it can be, but I think this is actually more for watercolor and water soluble media. It says, complete control over your watercolors, endless glazing and lift to underlying layers of color or back to white. So we're gonna have to do this some other time. Oh yes, yes, I finally grabbed one of these and it says, on the back it says, uh, sketch, pencil, charcoal, chalk, graphite, crayon, ink, and watercolor. So how tiny is this and how cute is it? It's pink, it goes well with Valentine's Day of course, you know, and the whole color scheme going on today. So I thought I'd pick it up and I got it for a really, really good price and I have to check that price. I think um, I'll just do it post-production, but I saw those, if you remember, in, in the vlog part and I was like, wow, I gotta have one of these. What pencils did I get? So I got another one of these watercolor markers by Albert Durer and I have about four or five of these now and I've just wanted to kind of slowly build up my collection over time. They've got a fine tip end and then they've got the brush tip and nice juicy brush tip pen and um, it is pigment based marker so it's not a dye based marker and so it kind of has more of an actual natural watercolor feel to it. So I will probably do another, you know, I'll get to know these, maybe do a review on these if you want. Picked up some water soluble graphite by Faber Castell. I have not tried these, but I trust Arlena's judgment and she says they are very, very nice. And I picked up an HB and a 6B. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Okay, I feel like Bronzeal Design does not get enough t attention on, on the art community on YouTube. And I re they're not widely distributed. You can find them online on, you know, Jerry's and Blix and everything. But uh, in stores, they're not always available in stores. I bought two of the watercolor aquarelle, these two, and then I bought just a solid colored pencil. And last but not least, I bought this. This looks interesting. This is a black watercolor. Well, it's not even watercolor paper. It's a multimedia paper. But if you can see how like the sheen in it, it's not uh, porous. It's very, very slick, almost like how you pull paper is. But on the front, it says it's Durabrite Black, durable mixed media surface for metallic and opaque mediums, acrylics, colored pencils, and markers. Now, I don't know how it could be for co like colored pencils if it's not actually absorbing anything and there's no tooth, but maybe it just sort of glides across the paper. Um, we will have to try this out. I'm, I'm excited to use this. I'm really interested in using it. And that is what I got. Well, folks, make sure that you keep your eye on the community kit page because I do a lot of polls there and a lot of you wanted more color pencil videos. Some wanted gouache, some wanted watercolor, and some of y'all just go ahead and watch whatever I throw at you. So I'll keep that in mind too. And I hope that you enjoyed going to Art Mart with me today and seeing the little things that I picked up. And hopefully next time we'll have even more fun. Consider hitting subscribe. You don't have to, but you know what? It does help me out and I do love seeing you all. So I'll see you next time. Okay. Bye. It's because I don't have anything that's too small that is just like a multimedia, mixed media type of thing. Um, type, type of thing. 
wow, it's after 3 p.m. I'm shutting down. <laughs> For real. <laughs> and I need more caffeine. <laughs> but no. Um, some people are having a hard time around Valentine's Day and some people just say screw Valentine's Day but you know what there's only one person that you need to love and that is yourself first and foremost so just remember that it sounds corny but it's true roller coaster oh no roller coaster oh, oh.